I haven't uploaded anything in a good while, and the reason why is mostly because of work and just, you know, me doing other stuff in real life. But what I have been doing when I'm on the computer has been working on little projects for me and my friends to dick around with, and this is one of them. This has taken up a ridiculous amount of my time. And uh, I kind of just wanted to show it off so you guys can just see what I've been doing. Um, I may or may not release this to the public at some point, but I'm not really sure. I use assets from people in the community that have been made like 10 something years ago. And for me to uh, feel comfortable releasing this to the public, I would want either approval from them or I would want to swap out said models with custom ones made by myself for example this halo player model you're looking at and most of the player models in here are made by wise moose so uh, uh thank you wise moose there's also a couple other things i'm going to go over really quick with uh crediting so the ce pistol was made by n triple one the med kit by grob uh the Shotgun and AR by Head Crusher, and then there's an MP7 base model that was used and modified by me uh, that was made by Walk Warrior and by Head Crab Zombie. There is also a energy sword. I do not remember the name of the creator of the energy sword off the top of my head. I will have to look that up. I'll put that in the description. But yes, so this is what I've been working on. It's a port. Or, I guess, a remake of Halo in the Gold Source engine. And uh, it's um, it's pretty fun. I've played it a couple times with friends. And we've had really, really good times. Um, I've, I'm have i pretty much at the point where I think the balancing and the tuning of the game is pretty good. And at a very fun state. And it's just maps I need to work on. Which, there are two maps that we have done. I'll show you those in a second here. But... Yeah, in general, it's it's been an interesting project. Now, it's only multiplayer. There's no single player or anything like that. And, um, yeah, so uh, let's, let's just go in and let me show you. So first, I want to show you some settings here. So you can play in either free-for-all or uh, team play or team slayer. So, and there, it's kind of janky because this is old, you know, Half-Life Gold Source server settings. So you can change the frag limit, the time limit max players, excuse me, um, then you can also change your teams, you can have up to four teams, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of crazy, if you have that many people, uh, and how you work with the teams here is you can put in any team, so in the multiplayer section, you have models, and these are basically your, your skins, these aren't updated, the picture isn't updated, I need to fix these, um, but blue is your blue Spartan, green is your, you know, green Spartan, pink is pink, red's red, white's white, yellow, yellow. Um, so basically any of those you can put in there. It is still a little bit janky, but, uh, and you probably have to run the server more than once to actually get it going. So let's do blue versus pink. We'll put that in there. And uh, for the two maps that are complete, Damnation and Rat Race, uh, we'll start on We'll start on Damnation, since that one's the one I made recently. And both of the maps and all of the maps are made by me solely. Uh, all the assets, all the textures are mainly Half-Life, but any others are made by me. Um, I, it took a very long time to make these maps. But uh, I'm very happy that we got it done. So let's go ahead. And like I said, we're probably going to have to run the server once or twice to get the teams to update. I'm not sure why. That's what it does? Okay, yeah. So it just spawned us on red since that's like the previous server. Let's try it again. Okay, there we go. So that should work now. So I think if you type in... Ah, it doesn't work through the console. So you have to go into here, you go into your multiplayer, and if you select like green, for example, it will tell you there's the teams, only blue or pink. So let's go over to pink. And we are now pink. It's red on the scoreboard, but we are pink. If you look in the third person model, we are now pink, where previously we were blue. 
There you go. So let's show you the rest of this. Um, so most of these have their own custom damages. I've worked out the weapons in a certain way where I've got it very close to Halo, um, if not one-to-one, -one, and I'll show you that in a sec. But you spawn with basically uh, normal um, AR. It's pretty good. Um, you know, kills pretty all right. You get your Magnum. It has a zoom. Pretty good. Just normal Halo Magnum. And everyone spawns with an insta-kill energy sword. Now, this took a lot of play testing to see what worked best. We tried like a two hit um, energy sword, which wasn't as fun or just spawning with a crowbar, like a half-life crowbar and an energy sword being an item. That also wasn't as fun. So the insta-kill actually makes the game a lot more fun, a lot more balanced, and it gives people a lot more incentive to actually use close quarters weapons like the shotgun and SMG. Uh, because long-range weapons in this game are just so good. They're stupid good. There's, like, no fall-off, so it's really fucking good. Uh, but, yeah, so that's really fun. You're in the middle of a fight, and you just pull out an energy sword and just start chasing your friend and see what happens. But uh, that's that. Uh, we have normal grenades, just like in Half-Life. They work just like in Half-Life. Uh, and then here's your shotgun. The world model is not updated. I need to change that. But here's a shotgun. This is actually almost one-to-one -one with the Halo CE stats, so it is very good. Um, it's very, very good. And you can also cancel your reload by by uh, right-clicking. So let's go around. Let's check it out here. So here's the SMG. This was based off of an MP7 model. I edited it and modeled it and animated it myself. Um, it is based off of the Halo 3 SMG, and in fact, in the future, I may just try porting the Halo 3 model into the game and then reanimating it. Um, we'll see if that can work. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. It probably is possible, but it'd just take a long time. Um, but here's your placeholder. It's pretty, pretty good. Very, very big spread, especially at a distance, but it does do a lot of damage, and it also does a lot of push damage. Um, if you couldn't see right there, I think the animation just broke. I'm not sure why, but, uh, you know, Half-Life sometimes does that. Here's some rifle grenades. I'll show you that. You just duck them. They work like Half-Life rifle grenades. Now, here is my favorite thing, the Needler. Now, I custom made this. I ported it from Halo CE and animated it and did the custom coding for the, um, the clip and for the ammo and everything like that. It's based off of the Hornet gun from Half-Life, but it's very heavily modified. Uh, I also messed with a lot of the stats when it came to the Hornet tracking. So it acts just like a normal Needler. Probably my favorite gun to play with against people in the game and just my favorite gun to add to the game because I had no hiccups coding this. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be a nightmare to code. It really was very simple. It wasn't very difficult. It just took some trial and error. Very fun. I'm very happy with the new gun. So here's your sniper rifle. Uh, it's a little bit bugged, the texturing, but same with the animation, but it works just like the sniper would. One shot, headshot, 80 damage, body shot. Very, very good. So that one's good. The teleporters do work. So you can use those. There's some normal Half-Life stuff like the grenade uh, I mentioned earlier. There's like a trip mine right there. Uh, there's an, uh, a shield there too. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, there's a rocket launcher. Obviously, uh, just a normal Half-Life rocket launcher, except that it doesn't have any tracking, just looks like normal. So, pretty good. Uh, will insta-kill people if you get a good shot on them. And yeah, and that's basically it. The only other difference is because this is in the Gold Source engine, you can blast jump and rocket jump around, which is pretty neat. So, if you want to... <laughs> okay, maybe not that. Maybe... Maybe not that, but if you want to blast jump, you can definitely do it. It's very difficult to do with the rocket launcher, but we'll try it here. Yeah, it's it's that delay it causes just really, really screws with you. Let me see if I can find something a little better. 
You can also do it with just normal grenades. You can do it with a satchel charge. You can do it with all types of stuff. So if you want to, you know, close that gap and start attacking people from there, then you can definitely do that. But this map, this map I'm very proud of. This took a very long time and I'm very happy. And it pushed the limitations of the Gold Source engine to its very limit. There are some design changes I had to do on this map simply so it would not break. Or stuff wouldn't go out of uh, draw distance like this wall back there. But uh, yeah, that's about it for Damnation. And then we'll quickly just go over to Rat Race really quick. This is kind of the map that inspired me to make this in the first place, because I made this map for a different mod, just because it was requested. And it's um, it inspired me to make the rest of the Halo mod. So it's pretty much just normal rat race. I need to add more ambience to the map. It's just normal, normal rat race. I would show you playing against other people, but I don't have anyone to play with me right now. It's pretty early in the day. But, uh, yeah, it's just good old rat race. And also, if you want to play on these maps specifically, I know I said earlier I'm probably not going to release this to the public for a while. Um, if you want to play these maps in just normal Half-Life or do whatever you want with them, they're on Game Banana uh, in the Half-Life section. Just look up either Rat Race or Damnation. They're there. You can download them. You can play them. So if you want to play these maps, uh, not with the custom weapon, sadly, but in just normal Half-Life Deathmatch, uh, go for it. it. Everything still works, and all the textures I made sure are Half-Life compatible. So you are good to go. But, uh, but yeah, that's about it. I've been having a really, really fun time making this mod, and playing it with friends has been a blast, and we've had a couple game nights that have been very fun to play. So, I'm hoping on adding a couple more maps to the game. I'm working on one called Boot Camp, which is my own map that I am adding. Um, there's also Blood Gulch, or, uh, sorry, not Blood Gulch, uh, Battle Creek, that, um, I'm trying to make, but uh, I haven't got very far on that. Blood Gulch literally cannot be added to the game because of the limitations of the engine, sadly. But uh, that's why we settled with Battle Creek. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all we all we got here. So uh, if you have any interest in this mod at all, or you want to play it in the future, or anything like that, just let me know. I think it's a cool, cool little project. I put a lot of work into it, and it's been keeping me busy and i've been having a fun time so yeah if you're interested just let me know and uh yeah that's about it so thanks